Good morning readers. I, Harish Budhu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible from my handwritten articles, Open Letter to the Prime Minister, Part 3. This 9th of August 2020. With the MV Wakashio disaster, it is but cheap politics and vultures instincts, to attack for political gains. In times of looming danger, unite. Condemn the vulture politicking. Mr. Prime Minister. It is the third part of the series. We have been informed by our administrators that a record number of people are reading but also sharing with their friends. They are not afraid of the latest cybercrime police excesses and illogical and unreasonable arbitrary arrests. We thank all of them. They are but doing their bit of duty. 2. You see the difference, Mr. Prime Minister, we are born to give and not to take. We see to it that our right hand is always up to give, and not down to take, or beg. We could have made a lot of money by selling our pen and know-how. Poverty has taught to help, care and serve, and not be helped, cared and served. Our Facebook and YouTube extended family is following suit. They are sharing these letters intended for you. They are giving and not taking. They are our joy and pride. 3. Even then, there is yet another valid reason which lies at the root of these public letters, many other leaders and heads of organizations are also reading them. Your good self is but a medium to reach them. They must thank you for that. And of course, we are not teaching, tutoring, lecturing or sermonizing. Far from that. We are not an expert, we are only sharing the little we know. 4. Now, with the pointy destiny MV Wakashio environmental oil spill disaster, today's letter will not attack you as the head of the state. It will not involve itself into any cheap politicking. It will not be a vulture to attack or eat the dead. It will not prey on a national environmental, economic and humanitarian catastrophe. We will not follow the herd mentality of the opposition parties. It is politically incorrect to have the basic instincts, rights, needs, etc., of vultures. Politics not at any cost. 5. After all, this is the universal philosophy all across the world, when somebody is seriously ill in the family, all the members forget their differences and the past and unite. In case of looming danger or disaster, all people rally around and help to face or prevent it. It will be very cheap and anti-human to behave like the praying vultures. 6. These are not normal days with that MV Wakashio disaster. For that reason, today, we will quote five paragraphs from the Panchatantra. It was first translated from Sanskrit in 1859, by the German scholar, Theodor Benfi and then in 1924, the American, author W. Ryder, wrote it in English. It is a collection of stories from travelers from Arabia, Syria, Europe, Egypt, China, and other countries. A. Sycophantic counselors, all counselors draw profit from a king in worries pent, and that is why they always wish for him embarrassment. And again. As men in health require no drug. Their vigor to restore. So kings, relieved of worry, seek their counselors no more. B. Rascals. Caress a rascal as you will, he was and is a rascal still. All salve and sweating treatments fail to take the kink from doggy's tail. C. Flattery. Monarchs, ill-advised, repel. Even though they purpose well, sweet and placid waters smile. But beware the crocodile. And yet again. Draw benefits from comments harsh, no poison, this, in flattery see treason, not true nectar's bliss. Thank you for reading. Have a great day. Keep reading, keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.